As an HVAC technician, I have the comfort in my two-story home dialed in. The upstairs is just as big as the downstairs for the most part, uh, but in the summer though, the heat rises so dramatically to the second floor, it seems like I'll never get the second floor to cool down by the time we go to bed. Knowing how to control the temperatures in your home during the summer can be a bit of a mystery for some people in the Sacramento area, and that's what we're going to talk about here today on Fox Family Heating, Air, and Solar. If this is your first time watching, please click subscribe down below on the bottom right here. And if you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. And don't forget to get your official Fox Family merch available on teespring.com down below this video. If you've ever wanted Fox Family gear, here's your chance to wear the same stuff we wear out in the field. As the typical 100 degree day begins, you have a nice cool attic and rooms throughout the house are at the nicest temperature they're going to be at all day. If we could just keep our home at this summer morning temperature, we'd literally be in paradise. But by 9 a.m. you can feel the warmth already pouring in the back sliding glass door. If you don't turn your AC on soon, it's going to start warming up the house. Can I ask you a question? Do you have one thermostat in your home or do you have more than one thermostat? If you only have one thermostat, but your home has two levels, an upstairs and a downstairs, then your AC is intended to cool the whole house at one time. It's a single zone air conditioning system. If you have two thermostats, whoever installed your home's HVAC system set it up to have two zones, like an upstairs and a downstairs. If you have one thermostat that turns on the air conditioning system, you may notice upstairs is still warmer than the downstairs, or vice versa, even when the system is supposed to be cooling. Downstairs where the thermostat is, it says 75 degrees and it feels like 75 degrees downstairs. But upstairs, you know it's 80 degrees because it's warmer up there and your meat thermometer you got from the kitchen accurately reads 80 degrees upstairs. Yes, change your filters. Yes, check the batteries in your thermostat, but we know that's not the issue here. The issue here is that downstairs gets more air than upstairs. So how are we gonna fix that? Getting a thick blanket of insulation in the attic is critical to keeping the cool air in your home. So if your insulation levels are low, this is a low cost weekend DIY project for that certain handyman in your home. Or you can hire a contractor like us to come out and do it for you. Another way to cool your two story home is with a whole house fan. A whole house fan is a great idea for mornings and late evenings, but anytime after 10 a.m. and you're just gonna be bringing in the hot outside air. So most people are gonna resort to their AC system. If you wanna know how a whole house fan works and what it can do for you, um, check out my video on installing a quiet cool whole house fan. I'll leave it at the end of the video so you can click on it there. Anytime after 10 a.m. and most homes in Sacramento are starting to run their ACs and will continue cycling that AC on and off throughout the day until about 11 p.m. or later. If you only have one thermostat, chances are that one floor cools better than the other. The reality is just that. The people who installed the system ran all the pipes and all the ducts where they were supposed to go and everything, but they just didn't quite finish the project when they walked away with an unbalanced airflow issues in the house. This is really common in new homes where teams of install crews are literally just slamming these systems into homes day after day so they can just move on to the next one tomorrow. What we try to do in these cases is find the part of the house that is blowing more air upstairs or downstairs and then we'll cut into the ductwork and we'll install a manual damper. A manual damper is round like the ducts in your house. It runs in line with the ducts and it has like a little paddle on it that opens and closes allowing more or less air through it and onto the rest of your house. If we can just adjust this manual damper or in a few cases a series of manual dampers we can adjust the airflow accordingly in your home. This is the way we can balance the airflow of your two-story home if you only have one thermostat. You might say, well, why don't we just start shutting down the registers all around the house until we achieve that? You can, but it's not recommended as a practice in the HVAC field because the registers can start whizzing and making noises. Um, the pressure of the air trying to enter the room can cause the registers to start vibrating and rattling, which can cause other issues. The air conditioning system has sort of a blood pressure to it. And when we start shutting down registers around the house, it really affects the system's blood pressure or static pressure. 
If the air can't get out of the system, expensive compressors start failing, motors start seizing up, and your HVAC system just kind of gets to a point where it doesn't want to cool the home anymore. There's a fine balance point that we're trying to achieve here with this static pressure, so letting an AC tech balance your ductwork is recommended for the longevity of your system. Now, if you have two thermostats, you have a zone system, which will let you decide whether you want to run the downstairs AC or run the upstairs AC. Does this sound enticing to you? If you don't have this set up currently, it can be done on any AC system in the Sacramento area. It usually takes a good amount of labor for people to take a system that only has one zone and make it have two zones, but it can be done. The typical home we work on is one where a parent stays home with a child or retirees that don't have to go to work anymore, so there's usually someone home most of the day. I tell people in these homes to focus on running the AC downstairs where they typically are during the day. So if you like it 75 degrees in your normal living areas, make it 75 degrees there and make it 82 degrees upstairs or in the area that you're not using. Run the AC primarily throughout the day, downstairs, at whatever temperature you'd like to keep it at, until about 6 or 7 p.m. Then you're going to want to shut that thermostat off down for downstairs and start using the one for upstairs, so that by the time you get to bed, it's cool enough upstairs to sleep for the whole family. It's already 75 degrees downstairs when it shuts off, so it's not like it's going to warm up super fast and make it uncomfortable for you. Nobody needs the AC downstairs during this time, so set the downstairs to be 82 degrees. It won't get there overnight, but at least the system doesn't come on downstairs, so the AC can focus its efforts on cooling your two-story home down as quickly as possible. You can set it up however you want on your thermostat schedule, and if you need help with that, call or text us and we'll get out to you and help you set it up. The main idea of having two thermostats is that the system is not sized big enough to cool the whole house at one time. Your AC system with two thermostats is designed a little bit smaller because it's designed to cool one floor or one zone at a time. We save money with smaller systems and efficiency is huge for a lot of people around here. The smaller the system, the less we have to pay for electricity it takes to run the AC. We also save money and energy when we don't try to cool the entire house at the same time. If you have a two-story home that is 1,500 square feet or more and it only has one thermostat in the house, you might have uneven temperatures. If upstairs and downstairs are at different temperatures, the way to fix it is to balance the ductwork so upstairs and down receive the appropriate amount of air to cool the house more evenly. If you have two thermostats and still have uneven temperatures, learn how to use the thermostats more effectively to control the temperature in your home so that the AC is on downstairs during the day while the upstairs stays off or regulates at a higher setting like 82 degrees. Well, I hope this has given you some good information on how you can cool your two-story home here in the Sacramento area more effectively. If you need any advice or any help with this, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to start a conversation about homes with two zones and how those homeowners strategize their airflow throughout the day. If this is your first time watching, please click subscribe down here on the bottom right. And if you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. And don't forget to get your official Fox Family merch available on teespring.com down below this video. If you've ever wanted Fox Family gear, here's your chance to wear the same stuff we wear out in the field. Thanks so much for watching folks, and we'll see you on the next video. You're watching Fox Family Heating, Air, and Solar. Don't forget to subscribe. And check out more of our videos by clicking on the right side of the screen.